Alright, just went to Walgreens. Um, I was in the mood for some chocolate because I am a chocolate fiend and I have none in the house. So I got chocolate and paper towels that we needed and also sour gummy worms that I wanted because I also enjoy a little sour in my life. And now I'm heading home. Um, I was hoping to do those shirts today. I might at least get to make some stencils, but I don't think I'll get to spray them because as I left for Walgreens, I looked up and realized that there were storm clouds up above me. I was kind of hoping they'd be gone by the time I left, by the time I got done shopping, but they're not. I mean, they're not like huge and directly overhead, but they're like in the distance and they're kind of like teasing as they are wont to do in Florida every day, all the time. And again, there's the problem of even if I could get outside and spray the shirts real quick, if it starts raining and I can't leave them out on my porch, I have to bring them in the house and then I get to smell spray paint until forever. And that's not fun. Especially when, um, in a couple days the apartment people are coming, well the office people are coming to our apartment to do inspections. I just feel like it wouldn't be fun. But I was kind of thinking about walking to the Waterford Shopping Center right there that I walked to the other day, but I don't want to get caught in the rain. Like, tomorrow, Chris is taking me driving. Tomorrow, tomorrow's Monday. Today's Sunday. I remember when I used to go to church every Sunday? Me and my family used to go. There were issues. I don't know. The point is, I don't, I don't go anymore. And it's so weird to think about that I don't go anymore. I've gone to two different churches up here. One of them was with Courtney and I liked it. You know, I want to check out another church, but I don't have a car yet. I did talk to my mom this morning. I'm going to be working, like I said, I'm driving tomorrow. I want to go home soon. I need to get online, set up an appointment at the DMV. I'm going to get my license. My mom said my dad's looking for a car and she's saving up money, which, thank you, mom and dad. I love you buying me this car. Oh, I love you for a lot of reasons, but this is just another example of, of why I love you, because you do so much for me. I love you. With any luck, I will have a car soonish. I will have a license soon. Hopefully I will have a car to go with that license. Um, even if not, just having a license helps. behind the apartment. They have chickens now. And I can hear them through my closed window. And I just wanted you guys to see them. There used to be a dog barking all the time and then the dog hasn't been barking in a long time so I mean I didn't really think much of it. Now there's their left Spanish music and own chickens. I thought we needed paper towels because when there were four of us living here, we went through paper towels like nobody's business, but now it's just Courtney and I, and now that her summer classes have started up again, and she has work and everything, and she's, you know, not here that often, it's just me, so I had only bought a three-pack before of paper towels, and it was like a couple weeks ago at least. And so I thought we'd be out by now, and so I went out and bought more paper towels. And then I came home, and we are still on the first roll out of the three. So, at least we have extras. Okay, problem. So, uh, Courtney finally heard back from the girl that she and Teresa and I were supposed to be renting um, this house from, three out of the four bedrooms in the house. We had heard that she might have rented out one of the other bedrooms, but Courtney's mother, who is a real estate agent and who was helping us on this, had already, she signed one of the leases for Courtney already at, it was supposed to be $500. So we've been trying to get a hold of this girl. She just texted Courtney back, and apparently not only did she raise Courtney's rent to 550 but she rented out both of the other rooms, even though she told Courtney that she wouldn't, which basically means that unless we find 
somewhere to live, like, within the next two weeks and can move in immediately, Teresa and I are in trouble. I'm still processing this right now, and I'm also about to, uh, to start looking for places to live. So if today's not eventful, you'll have to forgive me, because that's really, this is kind of a priority. Keep you guys updated. Okay, so after smothering my anxiety with dark chocolate and sour gummy worms that I just bought and didn't plan on stuffing in my face immediately when I got home, then talking to Courtney and Teresa, we found two possible apartments. Ideally, we would have liked to live in that house, but right now we've got two weeks. Like, the clock is ticking, so the ideal is not necessarily what we're gonna get to have. One apartment is a little bit smaller. They only have two bedroom, two bathroom apartments. The other one has two bedroom, two bathroom in case Courtney were to stay where she is, or three bedroom, three bathroom. She's only leasing month by month in case after that first month she's had enough and she wants to come live with us. Teresa is coming down in a week, so we're all going to discuss it then. See the difference between her living with us or just me and Teresa living together is $5 a month, which is kind of nice. Like, it's not a factor. Like, it's not a matter of money. It's a matter of, you know, like, if she feels more comfortable in the house or if she wants to live with us, so that's nice. The cheaper one is $10 under what we were planning to pay, and, and the more expensive one is $10 over. So again, I mean, it's still, like, the only change is a matter of geography. It, like, financially, we're, we're pretty much, we're staying the same. I guess this is just the whole lesson to be gained from this is never feel secure in something like this, like getting a house or whatever, until you have it in writing. Keep looking around, keep your options open, because you never know if they're going to screw you or not, is the lesson. And I mean, it sucks, but it's true. I'll keep you guys updated. Like I said, we're not making any decisions until um, Teresa comes to visit next week. I've regained my almost eternal optimism. Like I said, the apartment wasn't the ideal situation, but it's still better than here because I'm going to be honest. I hate this apartment. I hate it. I hate, hate, hate this apartment. But like I said, I'll keep you guys updated. And, uh, thanks for sticking around, watching me panic, watching the vlogs. Thanks. I just wanted to show you guys how pretty the sky is. You can't see the sunset from over here, it's over there. But it's still pretty. I'm sorry we didn't do much after the Walgreens walk, it's just, I mean... Like... <laughs> it's been crazy, and it's it, it didn't even rain today, but... I'm going driving with Chris tomorrow, I'll have him vlog. Uh, for the duration of that. And I didn't do it the last couple times I went out driving, but originally when I first started practicing driving, I, I was never a bad driver, but I would get so anxious that I would, I would concentrate so much on the road that I would actually forget to breathe. I haven't done that in a long time, so hopefully there will be none of that tomorrow. Job search has been put on hold until all of this gets sorted out. I still, I have to also call the community college that I had to transfer to tomorrow about the transcripts that I have to pick up from the university tomorrow. I have a lot to do tomorrow. I have a lot to do this week, but tomorrow is going to be crazy. But you'll also get interesting footage of me driving. So tomorrow should be, uh, tomorrow should be an interesting day. And you'll have all of Chris's witticisms in the background, so that should be fun. Oh, how about a contest? Uh, guess number one to a hundred. Guess guess the number one to a hundred and figure out which university and or community college that I go to, and I will meet you at said university or community college, and you will win one free roll of paper towels. Especially handy if you're in college and have no money, like me, because we have extras.
if you were watching the video like five minutes ago, we have extras now. So so you can win. And if you if you would like, I will even autograph it for you. I will. I will. Write anything you want. Almost anything you want. Not my phone number. That's weird. Stop stop asking. Stop. That's weird. Okay. Um but yeah, I think that's all for today. So uh night. Love you. See you guys tomorrow.